Good? No, it's big. I thought it was looking really good. Big? It's gone over the pier and over the green. Yeah. Yeah, straight through. Tap. Hello, mate. Second birdie? Yep. How much time do you dedicate to practice and how do you split it up? So I try and do like at least 70% short game every week. Because um, you know you know what it's like, you can just sit on the, on the range and bash balls and are you hitting them right? Sometimes you're not and then you just learn bad habits. But I mean short game, you know, you're never going to 100 yards, 120, 130 yards is where it's at yeah. for, for that sort of scoring yards, you know? Yeah. And how do you find the most effective way to practice that short game stuff? Um, I always set out like different yardages, so I don't hit loads and loads of balls. So I'll just hit one or two, three balls maximum, right. um, and then I'll swap positions, um, and then yeah, just go from there. Because you're always, if you just heat, keep hitting repeat shots, you're going to get it. So just give yourself different challenges um, of different yardages, and then going back and to and fro. Yeah, and that's what I do. Do that normally out on the golf course, or yeah, what I, that's what I like to do. Um, so I'll probably go out and go out later in the evening when it's pretty dead and hit three four balls into a green just drop one down 140 yards drop one down 130 yards just play it like that yeah and we were talking before that you've got kind of um system for like your yardages with wedges yeah. um can you just kind of talk me yeah through so that? i've got three yardages for each wedge i've got so i use a, a clock method so 7 30 and then 9 30 and for me 10 30 is pretty much a full swing because i haven't got a full swing anyway um so i know the diff the, the yardages that they go at them swing so yeah. i can use that in any club really, but I prefer to use them with my wedges. And how have you worked out those yardages? Uh, just on like Trackman. Right. Um, just coming back, just knowing where I get the feeling of like 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, etc. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just just telling me if I'm hitting them there every time. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty dialed in on them, so it's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> seen a bit of that already. <laughs> That stayed straight as an arrow. Right edge though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. That went exactly where I was aiming. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, Alright. Get down, get down. Oh no, I see that, yeah. Um, Can you not get them off online anywhere? No, because they stopped making them. And I was just looking at that video. Yeah. Tons of people bought them. Really? Sold out there. Oh man. Yeah. Really. yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Joe, I thought you made that. That was a bit of pressure back on you. Yeah. How do you want it? Uh, out, please, bud. That's good, mate. Pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. I'll finish that. That turned low, then. Yeah. There you go. Yep. In terms of practice, do you do anything to kind of add a bit of pressure to the practice? Yeah, so there's a few short sort of games I play. Um, like point, I try and score as many points as I can, like around a short game, getting it within a certain distance or past the hole. It just gives you that bit of pressure to, to try and play with, you know? Yeah, do that against other people? Yeah, do it with people at the club and just, uh, just for fun, really. Just yeah. gives you that little bit of pressure for a drink or whatever at the end of it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, do you find that makes it more useful than just yeah, standing? You, yeah, definitely, because if you add that little bit of pressure, 
um, it, it adds more fun but it's just like when you're in a tournament that you, you're feeling that pressure as well yeah so yeah it's it's good builder for that yeah that was I had a room there last night literally looking over these two holes you can picture when you're holding one on this yeah. Have you had a holding one? One. Woburn on the 12th. Oh, nice. On the Dukes. 195 yards of us. Is that in an event or anything or just playing? Um, it was in like a pro am. Yeah, it was good. Very good. Yeah, Definitely the club. <laughs> Is that on the top tier? Yeah, Bloody hell, mate, that was well shot. Got a bit of five there. Hop, Ryan. What you old that? They're just that little bit slow at the end, aren't they? Yeah. Good, good. Happy, yeah. yeah. They're that little bit grubby at the end, like. You were talking before about you say that you know you're obviously a really good listener, like yeah. that's kind of helped you. Yeah. Um, I mean. Is that just listen to your coach or like anyone if, if someone knows better some of them better than i do you know then albeit i mean i'm all for help so because help will, will always make you better so that's yeah. all i want you know has there been any examples where someone's given you like yeah definitely and it was actually short game i mean i know i go on about short game a lot but um there was a, a bloke i was playing with and i think he was off like 23 or something but his short game was unbelievable i said what are you doing and he just he said, oh, I do this, this, this. Just try this, and I was like, oh, that works. And yeah, I stick it in my my game now. What was it? What was he doing then? So just just about just sort of um, closing my legs a bit more, right? Um, and just turning my body rather than trying to hit the ball uh, straight. Just aim off, and it, it just gives me. I was looking for a bit more spin. Yeah. And yeah, and that worked. So it was good. It's got a difficult shot with like a load of problems. Yeah. I think always hit yeah. Oh, Warm now, isn't it? Getting serious. The guns are coming out. Thanks, I've forgotten them. <laughs> it's debatable. Alright, it's still on you, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just debating. How long is it? 393? Three, three, yeah. That's what I didn't want to do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Sit down. You good? Yeah. 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 Uh, oh. Uh, just over that bunker on the right. Yeah.
Oh. Yeah. Nice one. I'll take that. It needs to stay. Nope, bunker. Is it? Yeah. It yeah, it just went it? spun left. I took that to the the middle of the green then, and the wind got that. Perfect club though. Yeah. So whatever you hit on that other one. This is a quite a cool story of mine. Um, I was at, I got invited to play in the Willow Classic from Duncan Sinclair. Um, on the, it was in the seniors tour, the Willow Classic senior tour. Right. And uh, I think I shot five under gross for, for my three rounds. And I beat quite a lot of the blokes. And then um, I just thought, you know, why not? And yeah, from there, sort of, Mike James sort of planted a seed in my, my sort of head. And I thought, yeah, why not? Let's do it. And then, uh, I played my first tournament in Spain on the Gecko Tour. Yeah. Um, that was in October 2016. Good. Just how much does the leg have an impact on your golf swing? Um, it does have an effect, but I don't let it have an effect, if you know what I mean. Um, I just deal with what I've got. Uh, so it, it affects me on certain shots, but I've learned to overcome that. Yeah. Same as you know I did from day one with the injury. Um, I've learned to overcome it and and, and just got past it and figured out a way of dealing with it. Yeah, so you're building like a swing that's unique to you. Exactly, yeah. I mean, I'm never going to have the PGA Tour swing. Um, but yeah, it's 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 effective, it works and it, you know, it's good for me. Yeah. And um